Pepe's pumping. Is this a sign of things to come or is this a sign of things that are past? All that and more in this video. Cue that music. Damn, hustling, 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 every. Welcome back to the Matrix. You're not just in the Matrix, you are the Matrix. And today we have a banger, banger, banger daily market news analysis. So without any further ado, let's bring the action. All right. So taking a look at the charts now. I went really deep on my breakdown. So if you want to check that video out, go ahead and check that out. But a quick recap, uh, the, every time that the yellow crosses to the upside across is the purple, we're in full on bullish posture as well as when the yellow, when we get into a foolish bullish posture and the yellow crosses, the blue finds uh, support on the green and crosses yet again to the upside. That is a continuation to the 618. Uh, real quick, let me show you guys this, what I'm talking about. So right here is the prior bull run. As you can see right here, we have a cross to the upside. Yellow crosses the purple. Full on retracement right here. You back test the prior range. And let me just zoom in so you guys can see this. You back test the prior range. The yellow crosses the blue to the downside. Find support on the green. And then a continuation to the 618. The 618 would bring us directly at $48,000. Now, right now, what I'm seeing in the charts is... Bitcoin is still finding support on this green moving average and the yellow and the blue are coiling up right now. Now, what we want to see is the yellow to cross to the upside, signaling a continuation to the upside. That is what I would want to see, which would be about $48,000. Now, what we don't want, we don't want the yellow to cross the green and we certainly don't want the blue to cross the green to the downside. That would likely be a coming down to the 25,300 which by the way at some point in time both 48,000 and 25,000 need to be hit because there are gaps there that need to be filled so at some point in time 25,300 needs to get filled out for me the sooner the better uh, but I personally think that the most painful route which is the most likely route is going to be a full-on retracement followed by in October November time coming back to 25,000 with a flash crash. That's personally what I think is going to happen. But on the day, cryptocurrency sitting at $1.16 trillion with some of these major coins down, ICP down 11%, Render down 9%, XTC down 7%, HBAR down uh, 7%. So some major coins are down. I'm going to be buying the dip as... Pepe has stolen all of the liquidity. Um, so when you see this type of stuff going from number 3000, coin number 3000 in market cap all the way up to 95, what goes up must come down, my friends. And uh, what goes down must come up. So I'm going to be buying the fundamental projects dip. And when this thing dips, maybe I'll buy some of that. But uh, as of right now, Pepe has crossed into the top 100 just a few days ago, being in the uh, number 3,000 ranked coin. So pretty crazy stuff. Uh, now, some crazy news out of XRP. Q1 markets, re markets report highlights several key developments in the crypto industry below the key takeaways from XRP sales. Ripple saw a massive increase from Q1 2023 with net sales reaching a whopping 361 million compared to previous of 226 million. That's not all. XRP Ledger on-chain activity also experienced a surge with decentralization exchange volume increasing by 34%. I've said it before and I will say it again. Bitcoin is the eventual stable coin and X to the R to the P is the winner. The start over of grand magnitude. Some would call it a great reset. 
XRP is the winner, my friends. Make no mistake about it. Now, legendary trader Peter Brannett predicts Bitcoin will drastically outperform, outperform all coins, says Bitcoin will bury all pretenders. Now, once we have our full retracement, I tend to agree with this. So once we get to 48,000, we start slowly sideways and boring, followed by a flash crash. Bitcoin will steal all the all the dominance. It could get as high as 70% dominance. And right now, the Bitcoin dominance is at 46%. So I tend to agree with this. Like once we get our retracement, Bitcoin is going to be the king until the next bull run. Uh, now, Financial experts predict price for the end of 2023. They basically have it at $35,000. For me, this is a conservative price arc. I have a $48,000, but this would be the to the 0. 0.5, which I think is certainly going to happen in 2025. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. Now, jokes aside, Pepe surges 120%, becoming the world's third largest meme coin. This thing came out of nowhere. I made a full TikTok on this. I'm not against gambling, but let's not make any mistakes about it. All right, let's not call it investing. Uh, I told you on my other video, I'll link that in the description where you can buy it. But when something goes from the 3000 rank coin all the way into the top 100, not that it can't go higher, but a lot of the riches have already been made. So with that being said, tread lightly, understand that it's a game of musical chairs. Somebody will not have a chair at the end. So don't risk anything you're not willing to lose. Proceed with caution, my friends. And if you want to play, take a gander at the slot machine, be my guest. Uh, hot meme coin Pepe enters to the top 100. Uh, yeah, we already talked about that. Now, this is massive, massive news. Asset manager Franklin Templon launches new fund on Polygon Matic. Investors uh, says blockchain run mutual fund is now supported on the Ethereum layer two solution for Polygon Matic. The $1.4 trillion asset manager Franklin on chain U.S. government money fund is the first U.S. registered mutual fund to use a public blockchain to execute transactions and record share ownership. Absolutely crazy, crazy news for Polygon. I love Polygon. It's one of my favorite layer twos. I don't think the upside is as high as uh, optimism or whatever, but I think the downside protection major players are always continuing to use Polygon. And if you've been into... Uh, Pepe, you know, the gas fees on um, someone, I saw a t Twitter where for $120 worth of Pepe, they had to pay $44 worth of gas. Atrocious. And these gas fees will not be fixed by the merger. That is the dirty little secret. So things like Polygon, Optimism, Arbitron, all these Layer 2 projects are vital for the success, in my opinion. Uh, now, J.P. Morgan to acquire First Republic Bank after it absolutely crashed into oblivion. And here is a live look at J.P. Morgan now holds over $2.4 trillion in deposits. Have we learned anything from 2008? Here's J.P. Morgan, every other bank. God forbid this giant falls. Or maybe not so much. Uh, now. Here is just a little, uh, this website right here, you can check out previous news articles. And I'm, I know I'm telling you guys the news, but I'm a firm believer in show me the charts and I will tell you the news. These narratives are almost irrelevant. So uh, like just for fun, we're going to look at a couple of dates on like when some really bullish news came out or some really bearish news came out and we'll look at the charts. So right here, 2008 of November, uh, not 2008, 2018, Floyd Mayweather, DJ Cali charged for illegal uh, touting of crypto offering. Bitcoin dropped 40%. All right, so let's look at the charts because everyone thinks that these charts just, uh, these news narratives like, well, when it's, when it's bad news, it's going to go lower, right? Well, let's look at November of 18, shall we? Um, yeah, here it is. 
full-on retracement from that moment in time. Uh, for fun, let's look up 2017 of November. Uh, 2017 of November, right here. NASDAQ plans to let investors bet on Bitcoin. 2017, the year of cryptocurrency to join the financial. Oh my God, that's so bullish. It's going to go higher. It's going to the moon, bro. Well, let's take a look. Ah, no, literal top. Like you can do this all day. Show me the charts and I'll tell you the news. These narratives are almost always wrong footing type events. So the fact that we're getting, again, where they're talking about Pepe leads me to believe that at least in the short term, the top has came in. Uh, but that is my opinion. Uh, but like I could do this all day, like right here, Mount Gox, uh, right here, C19. Oh, it's a global pandemic. It's going to go lower, bro. Followed by a, one of the craziest bull runs in history right here. FTX collapse on the day. Oh, it's going to 12K. It's going to 10K, bro. Followed by a 100% gain right here. Like, oh, Mount Gox, they released all their funds. It's going to cause it to go to 12K, bro. I know my wife's boyfriend followed by a 60% of the upside. So like these news narratives are like a Allen Iverson crossover uh, or a Barry Sanders juke move, if you will. Show me the charts and I will tell you the news. Um, but that is it for this time. I appreciate every single one of you guys. If you made it this far to the video, you are a real one, my friend. Comment down uh, Pepe for the word of the day and I will shout you out as a real one. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe. Uh, if I added any value, hit that like button. It's free to do. Subscribe to the channel if you want daily market news analysis, updates, uh, doing all kinds of stuff like that. Join the Discord. Link in the description. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter at Gaieski, at your boy Ski. If you want access to my exact portfolio, buy, sell alerts, all that and more, check out the Patreon if you want to support me. But I appreciate every single one of you guys. Peace, love, prosperity. God first. God bless. I'm out.